Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Root Flower Farm. We are back uh, after COVID. It's a horrible thing. It's so bad. It hurts. But we are fully recovered and we are back and we are going to start with building this raised bed. It is from Bego, I believe it's pronounced. They believe in sustainable gardening. Uh, they use metal rather than wood. This one is the nine in one, link it down below. So check them out. Um, I've got two of these. The other one that I got, I already put together. It's in the front yard. I'm gonna move it out here. Uh, it is a circular one and it's pretty big. It's bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm assuming that this one is gonna be bigger than what I think it's gonna be. It is 17 inches high. What I like about them is that they are super easy to put together. You don't, they don't require any extra tools. It comes with like this wrench and it comes with bolts and it's super easy to put together. It says right on the box that this one will take approximately 40 minutes to assemble. Now it takes a little longer than that for me because I take care of children and I will have the children helping me at the same time. But they are super easy to put together, so let's get started. Comes with super easy to follow instructions. These are meant to last 40 years. This is a safety rubber edging. And then a bag of nuts and bolts. Nuts, bolts, and washers. And the only tool that you need to put this together. Comes with a nice, very thick sticker. Uh, this one is in the olive green. They have a few different color options. On the box, there's a description of the metal and the design. And it says it's extremely corrosion resistant, uh, super heat reflective, super heat reflection, maintaining optimal soil temperatures, no harmful chemical leaching, and 100% green material, recyclable materials manufactured by green processing. And there is a food safe, uh, food safe agricultural paint, poly alloy coating, and a steel substate. So each one of these panels come with a liner on them and that needs to be pulled off. All together we have, oh, this is very heavy. We have eight straight pieces and four corner pieces. This company does a lot with giving back to the community. They also have a nonprofit. So I've been talking to the camera and it wasn't recording. So there are six rows of nuts and bolts. Uh, the first, the top two rows get a bolt cap. The bottom four rows get a basic nut. And each one gets a washer. So what I'm doing is I'm separating the nuts and bolts so I can put them into individual pockets so I don't have to fiddle with them. Bolts and washers are going in one pocket and nuts and caps are going in another pocket. The circular one that, I have, that I've already put together came with extra uh, bolts, nuts, and washers. 
which is handy because little things tend to get lost. It here behind the hoop house, between the hoop house and the fence. This gets, in the summertime, this gets a lot of the afternoon sun. Wow. So it is still, it is full sun. It just doesn't receive morning sunlight. So the sunlight it does receive is uh, quite a bit hotter, so it'll be perfect for some summer vegetables. But we may start it with some beans. We'll kind of go like every direction with it. Probably we'll utilize, we'll go up vertical and then maybe some vines growing out of it. So I'll start with a layer of cardboard and then I will gather up some of the material that's on the ground, like the leaves and the small sticks and put that on top of the cardboard. And then I will do compost and a premium topsoil. The purpose behind uh, using the leaves and sticks is because those will decompose and turn into great soil. Um, so instead of me going and buying uh, soil to fill the whole thing, I'll be saving money by using what I have laying around, what nature has given me. Oh, and I'm also gonna grab some soil out of the chicken coop and use that to um, help add organic matter to um, our soil. On the website, they also have add-ons to these raised beds that are specifically made for the raised beds. So they have like um, vertical structures so that you can go up. A uh, trellis is what I'm thinking. Um, they have trellises, metal trellises. They have uh, netting that you can put over them if you have a lot of uh, bug pressure. Those are just two of the things that I've seen that uh, you can purchase to add on to your raised beds. Oh, they also have, it's really cool. It's a um, plastic box that's got holes in it and it's for worms so that you can put worms and you can compost directly into the bed, into the box. You, so you put your compost material into the plastic box and you put worms in there and they decompose all of the, all of the um, produce that you put in it. And then once that is um, all turned into compost, then you can dump it out into your bed and mix it into the soil and just start over again. And I think it's like a four month process or something like that. So I have all the pieces laid out in the position that they are gonna be in. Uh, this looks like it's going to be probably at least six feet long, and I think it's two feet wide. And we're going to start by putting together two straight pieces. And I'm just going to line the holes up. The nuts and caps go on the inside. top row goes bolt on the outside washer on the inside nut cap and we're just doing it loosely we're not going to tighten them and then one of the corner pieces on this side. And now I'm gonna assemble the second side and then piece it together. So I just realized 
that I didn't have to make it this long. Okay, so I have reconfigured my design. I have three straight pieces in the middle, corner piece, three straight pieces in the middle, corner piece, straight piece, corner piece. And now I'm gonna connect them. wondering if I should have stuck with the original layout of it and had it long up against the fence, but I suppose this will do because it's so wide. It'll be hard to like reach across. So I'm thinking that I'm going to need to leave it open on both ends, both sides. Okay. So we have this support brace rod. that uh, we don't need. This was if we went with the original design of going long and it being only two feet wide. So we don't need this piece, but I'm gonna save it in case later on down the road, I decide to make this um, the other design and make it long, then um, I'll be able to use this. So this is about six feet long. This is me laying in my garden, my raised garden bed. So um, I'm gonna take a break from this. We'll probably end the video right here. Um, since I've got it all put together, I've got it pieced together, I've got it attached, but I do not have it. Um, I don't have all of the, I have it braced together uh, with the top bolts and with the bottom row of bolts. Uh, I will put in the rest of the bolts um, later on. I've probably been out doing this for about um, 40 minutes to an hour, only because I had to uh, redesign it and take um, a couple of the panels off and um, relocate them and reattach them in a different layout. So that's why it's taken so long. And I've had to go in the house a few times my phone died, so I had to put a battery pack on it, and uh, that all took up extra time. Get to the rest of this maybe tomorrow, and uh, I still need to come up with a plan what I'm going to plant in it. Uh, leave your comments down below. Um, I will include a link to the to the Vego website so that you can check out these raised garden beds. So uh, make sure you check out the website, see what all they have. Uh, maybe something will work out for you. I encourage you to uh, get your hands dirty, get one of these, and um, even just a small one, and uh, grow something in it, maybe some strawberries or some peppers or whatever it is that you like. Um, but explore gardening and see what the earth can give you if you take care of it. See what you can grow yourself. So I'm sure that there's something out there that you can take advantage of growing. All right, remember, keep your hands dirty.